Hi, in this video we will demonstrate how to set up Newport's Model 6100 combo laser diode and temperature controller and perform an LIV characterization. You will see that this complex task can be achieved very easily with a Newport optical power meter along with a 6100. LIV is one of the fundamental characterization methods for devices such as laser diodes, LEDs, superluminescent diodes, and fiber lasers. The great thing is that the application software is included with the Model 6100. L, I, and V represent light output in units of power, current, and the forward voltage across the device. L and V are plotted as a function of I. Here you can see the lacing threshold current. Also available are the first derivative and the second derivative of the LI curve, which can be used to determine the threshold value and the kinks which signify mode hops. For this demonstration, the following products, all available from Newport, have been used. The key instruments are the 6100 combo laser diode driver and temperature controller and a Newport power meter. We are also using model 740 butterfly laser diode mount and a 918D series low power detector for measuring the optical power. Here we see how to connect the 6100 and 2936-C power meter. The analog output from the power meter goes into pins number 6 and 19 of the 25-pin I.O. connector on the back of the 6100. This 25-pin connector is a very versatile port where one can find the TTL signal, input output, and laser diode driver output current, as well as monitor the forward voltage across the diode. On the Model 6100, setup of most of the critical parameters are accessible from the front panel. Using the LIV application software, one can see all parameters in a single view. Among these parameters are the measurement modes and limit sets used to define the operation conditions. The LIV setup is intuitive. Click on the LIV tab at the bottom to set the measurement parameters for an accurate and quick characterization. Special attention must be paid to the dwell time and the power conversion factor. The dwell time is the time the software waits after the current value is set. The longer the dwell time, the more accurate the measurement will be. However, it will also take longer to complete a scan. In essence, it is a trade-off between the measurement time and the measurement accuracy. The power conversion factor is the factor for converting the voltage from the analog output to an actual optical power. For the 2936-C, the full range of the power meter range corresponds to the full-scale voltage output. It is important that the range setting in the power meter must be set to manual with a proper range. Finish the basic settings on the power meter, such as setting the wavelength, the filter, and the mode. Select range type as manual on the power meter. According to the laser diode specifications on maximum power output, select the lowest range that will cover that power. Find out the full scale analog voltage for the power meter. By default, it should be one volt. You can change it via commands to be 2 volts or 5 volts. Calculate the power conversion factor. As you can see, it only takes a short time to set up the cabling and system in order to run the LIV application. You can review the data on the plot by moving the cursor and easily remove unnecessary plots. The Save Graph button allows you to save the screenshot while the save data file allows you to save the data so that you can analyze the data further. As you can see, the 6100, along with the accompanying software, is an easy and versatile system for use in LIV measurement.